Hey there, I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm about to go around and do a little sightseeing with the Insta360 X3 360 camera. And Kobe and I are gonna get some creative shots that hopefully will inspire you to go around your city and try some creative 360 shots of your own. So let's go ahead and get started. And thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Okay, here's a demonstration of the movement I'm gonna do. I have my extended edition selfie stick almost all the way extended, but I like to leave it just a little bit uh, not fully extended like that because then it doesn't flex as much as I move. And then I'm holding it out in front of me like this at about waist level and I am positioning my body so that I'm not walking backwards. I'm gonna be walking forward while I hold the stick like this. Just like that, I'm looking back, then I'm looking forward, starting to rise up, starting to rise up, and then I will thread it through and continue to rise and then stop here before I hit the tree. That's the movement. Let's see how the final result looks. Now here's another version of the same shot, only I'm going forward this time and I'm slowly raising up the selfie stick as I walk. It's late afternoon now, and this is a good time to use your 360 camera because you have nice cross light going around your subject, just like around this church here. And that's bringing out all the texture of the Adobe. We're gonna start with a high angle shot as Kobe is walking away from the church. And then I will lower down to below her eye level and it will turn into a sort of a gimbal shot. So it's just one smooth fluid motion that shows Kobe and it shows the church all in the same frame. So you may think with 360 camera that you want to go for the big wide shots because you know it's 360 and it captures the whole world but actually i like moving between things that are really close together and one thing that you should know actually about new mexico is aliens are a big part of the culture here area 51 you may have heard of it is where the aliens supposedly crash landed in roswell new mexico so because of that there's all sorts of alien memorabilia and gift shops So when you travel, make sure you find what's unique to the culture of the place that you're visiting. In New Mexico, one of the things that's very unique is the chilies that they use. So these chilies are usually hung in batches. It has a lot of texture, and a lot of color, and also with the 360 camera, I can get a really interesting angle of it because of the extended selfie stick. I can raise this up to the level that they're hanging at and then do camera movements around them. So whenever I see something that's hanging down, that's colorful, I know that it will be good for a 360 shot. You may not think that a grocery store is the most cinematic place to shoot, but actually there's a lot of local character in grocery stores in different parts of the world. So I always love to grab some shots as I'm walking around shopping. A grocery store is a controlled environment, which means that the lighting is not changing at all. The exposure is not changing. The white balance is not changing. So I'm not going to use auto mode for this. I'm going to go into manual mode. We're going to use standard color for shots where I'm not walking around. I'm going to keep the shutter at 150th. And for shots where I walk, I'm going to raise it to, I don't know, like 120th, something like that, and then boost the ISO a bit to compensate. But for now, we'll start with 150th shutter, ISO 100, the minimum possible, white balance 4000, because it's kind of a warm fluorescent light in here. And as usual, bitrate high, sharpness low. Now we're walking down the aisle and I'm doing a selfie with the selfie stick of us shopping with the shopping cart. And what's great about a shopping cart is that you can rest your selfie stick against it as you walk. So this is actually super easy to shoot. So if you wanna do a little vlogging as you do your shopping, then this is an easy way to do it. Now I'm gonna do a shot where the camera is following us as we walk with the shopping cart. So I'm gonna extend the selfie stick and just hold it here on my shoulder as we walk. Now I'm gonna get a low angle shot down at the wheel of the shopping cart. So I'm gonna lower my selfie stick, just like that, all the way down there. And then I'm going to hold it sort of across like this. 
So this hand is going to be awkwardly gripping the selfie stick, and I'm also going to hold on to the shopping cart with that hand. So this way, when the selfie stick gets erased in post, you're just going to see me holding the shopping cart with two hands, and it will look somewhat natural. A little trick for when I'm trying to be super low profile, instead of using my extended edition selfie stick, I'm just using two of the shorter selfie sticks put together. That way the overall stick is much thinner, it looks you know less noticeable, and if I really want to quickly make this invisible, I just separate them and then I can drop it in my pocket, put it back in backpack, whatever. Much smaller package than the extended edition selfie stick. For my next trick, I'm going to put the X3 behind an item on the shelf and then Kobe's going to reach in and take the carton out and put it in the cart and walk away and because of the magical invisible selfie stick we will be able to really easily get a shot that's in sort of an impossibly tight space there and to make this even cooler I'm going to get a BTS shot with my Go 3. The Go 3 is in the dock. I'm putting the dock on the base just like that. I'm going to put the base back here behind the X3 so it's going to be like Insta360 Inception. You may think I'm just casually hanging out in the chips aisle looking at my phone, but actually I'm reviewing everything that I just shot. So I have my BTS on my Insta3 Go 3, which is on my phone right now. I'm using the app to review what I shot, and I can also quickly switch over and review what I shot on the X3 just on my phone by switching the connection. So this is a really good way to sort of like on the down low check what you just filmed without anybody in the grocery store getting suspicious. Now we're at the Sandia Peak Tramway. So this is the tram that will take you all the way up to the top of the mountain that's over the city of Albuquerque. So we're gonna bring the 360 camera and try to get some shots on the way up and also at the top. Now here we are at the top of the Sandia Peak and this is a great place to do a selfie with your extended selfie stick. You can put the camera in an impossible position and then pan it around as you admire the view. It may be a little bit intimidating to try to shoot at sunset because the exposure has so much contrast. But actually, if you're careful about how you frame your shot and how you use those shadows, then you don't really need to be afraid of the sunset at all. You can actually use it to create really dramatic imagery. One thing to keep in mind is that you won't be able to keep your highlights and your shadows exposed properly. You're gonna to have to choose one or the other. So I usually choose just to preserve the highlights, which means that my subject will be in silhouette. I'm just gonna position her so that she's against the sky so we see a really clear outline of her body. The sun just went down behind the mountains and that might be when you want to pack it up and go home but actually there's still enough light to get one or two more really beautiful shots but you will have to slow down the shutter speed in order to get a proper exposure what that means is that you'll have to also move a lot smoother with the camera i wouldn't try to walk around because of the slower shutter speed it just won't stabilize as well so instead i'm going to stand still and then i'll try a shot where i'm just swinging the selfie stick back and forth to add a little bit of movement That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the Insta360 X3, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.